Rahim. My name is Mohammad Radwan. I am an architecture and .NET team leader in RTS. Okay, uh, our topic today is why we using interface. So let's go to the point and start using Visual Studio. Okay, I will cre create a class, client class. This is the name because this is class will call my classes. It will have one method run okay now I will add a class any class employee person car whatever so I will call employee for example this class will have some property like ID name of course name will be string one method called per mode okay now the client class will use employee class so client class will have an instance of employee class employee e and he will start using it in this object uh, in this method e dot id equal one e dot name equal Muhammad one and e dot promote and as you can see now we have an association between these two classes so the problem here is that these two classes is tightly coupled now client class can't distribute it or can deploy it without an employee class he need an employee class so this call is tightly coupled and we want in our design is to lose coupling with our design so what we need to do is making client class not dependent on employee class so how we can do this okay first I will create a new project this project is a class library I will call it common okay I don't need this class I will add a new interface called I employee okay first I will generate here I employee extract interface this is the interface I want I will undo this is better and then go to the comma Okay, now common has one interface is I employee. Now I will delete this and I will also delete employee. If we build this project, this is will fail because client class needs an employee. So this is a problem. We need an employee so what I have to do here is just add a comma a reference to the common and regarding of using employee I will use I employee and this will make the project succeed without any problem so now class client client class using an I employee <coughs> so he doesn't need employee class <coughs> now I can go to make a class library and this class library
I will add new item class called employee class library also will add reference to the command and we'll start using command so the class employee will implement I employee so if we add a class diagram here and we start employee and I employee so employee object or class now existing in class library and using interface doesn't need to has reference on this class library as you can see if we build this succeed without an reference to without a reference to the class library so we need to imagine how this will work so I will add another client class for the client class so it will be class 1 class 1 will use he has public void method which will use the client class so he will create an instance of the client class and will start c dot he can't call run we can't call run now why because run need an e object as we can see here and client class run calling e dot id so e must be exist so what I do here I will create an employee to create an employee here I must use a reference to a, the class library that's right no yes if I, I, I need to create new employee I must reference the class library but now I will create C dot E R O employee doesn't we need to encapsulate it so d dot e equal how we can reflection by making reflection to this DLR or assembly and start creating an employee and put it there by reflection the other solution is by using factory class which will create these objects okay I go to the common and create factory and this factory is just create public which will return I employee create employee this method is returning an employee by reflection by adding reference to the class library by whatever but it's return an employee making this method run so now here I will call the method by using the factory is factory let's say this is a static this is a class factory just by adding comma and factory dot create employee and this will be making all things will work